Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please make sure you do right now um, and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Um, so today we are going to get a little bit personal. Um, I am going to share with you guys, as you guys can tell, I am very transparent on my page. I share just about everything. Um, yeah, so nothing is ever hidden and I keep it mostly a hundred with you guys with about everything. So today we are going to be talking about a very touchy subject for me. Um, I wrote in my other phone some quote, uh, not quotes, some of the information I want to share with you guys down here. Um, so to start this off, this video will be about uh, Pityriasis rosea. I'll write it down right here. Um, Pityriasis rosea is a rare skin condition, which doctors really don't know what causes it. Um, they have a couple of leads, but they're still on a brink of a lot of studies. Um, I live close by to a NIH location, um, and I called them and hoped that they could take like skin or do a study off of me but they said that they weren't doing any studies and for it being a rare disease I was pretty surprised that you know they didn't want to take me in so pityriasis rosea starts off somewhere in your chest stomach area or back um, it starts off with something called a herald patch um, a herald patch is um, about the size like like a quarter to a little bit bigger. Um, Mine was placed right on my back right here. Um, and it randomly appeared, like randomly appeared. And one day I woke up and I'm like, what is this little scar? You know, I'm like, um, but as you guys can see in my prior posts, I've had surgery done um, within the last year. So I thought that that was maybe the cause. When I went to my doctor, um, I didn't really point it out to her. I don't know why I didn't, but I should have. Um, but so, Pitarias rosea um, started off with a herald patch. That's what it's called, a herald patch, meaning like the mother load that starts the other patch will starts the other ones to rise. So, um, as you guys can see, um, I am all cleared up. This is where my breakout was. It was all right here. It was crazy. I will insert the pictures as well. This is where it was like, it's not perfect yet because I just had, like, I'm literally, like, a week out and it, like, disappears. So, if you're having it right now, um, have no fear. It will go away. Uh, it goes away on its own. Um, I actually have a cream that I will show you at the end of the video that helped me out a lot as well. Um, I got that from Amazon. Um, I'll put a picture of it in as well. Um, so... Blah, 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 blah. I'm like rambling. So let me get back on subject. Um, so Pitarias rosea starts off as like, um, like with the Herald patch and then like about two to three months after, uh, it'll hit you by surprise um, and you will start to be covered like little by little by little. And I it hit me by surprise like when I say it hit me by surprise it hit me by the worst surprise like I had bought a new sweater and I I was trying it on and I thought that it I was allergic because I had wore that jacket with um around cats I thought it was the cats that was making me break out so bad I'm like I didn't know I had such a bad allergic to reaction to cats I was looking online like cat reactions like cat aller allergy reactions and it looked like this so i'm like well the start of a pitarias rosea and i'm like oh my god you know this is terrible but when you have pitarias rosea if you wear any like wool or like sweater material it'll get worse like it'll really get worse so it'll like make you irritated so i was wearing after that, I was like, okay, it was the cat sweater. I'm not gonna touch the cat sweater no more. I'm gonna actually sell it on Facebook Marketplace. Um, and so time went by and then I put on like a wool sweater like the next day 
and I started breaking out even more. I'm like, oh my goodness. So it's not the cat sweater. Like something is wrong right now. Like something has to be going on with me. So I just like completely like I'm out of ideas. Um, and this was like around Christmas break where things was like, um, it was hard to get a doctor's appointment and everything. I was calling my doctors. They were like closed the next day, open for like a couple of hours. It was all over the place. Um, so I kept looking up, looking up, looking up like random spots, 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 spots. I mean, I had like everything came to mind. Like, what could it be? What could it be? What could it be? And something clicked when I saw Pit of Rice Rosia because it said it started with a Harold patch. And another thing that clicked to me was it wasn't a food allergy. It wasn't anything of like the cat or anything. So I'm like, it has to be something so random. Like, so Pitarize Rosia is something that they don't know really what causes it yet. So, I mean, I couldn't, I didn't know what was going on. I was like, this is crazy. This Pitarize Rosia is going to like, oh my gosh, take over my life. I don't know how long it's going to last. And I'm like, watching all these videos. I'm like, I started looking it up. There's like about a few videos on here that tell you guys how long it lasts and things like that. That stuff is bull crap. And I mean it like some people are like, oh, you'll get rid of it in like two, three weeks. It does not disappear in two to three weeks. I'm going to tell you that right now. I am not trying to scare you. I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm just being honest with you. Like it's not going to disappear in like a month. Like it took me like a month and a half to like fully get rid of it, yeah. Cause it gets better. I'm just, I'm being honest with you guys. You guys are gonna appreciate me this, for, uh, appreciate me for this when you guys are over your face like I am. I wish somebody was just realistic. Like look, you need to start getting some turtlenecks. You need to start getting some scarves cause shit looks nasty and people are going to be staring at you and you don't know how you got it. And it's just like, people will stare. Like, what kind of disease does this person have? Because, I mean, mine was like, ah, oh, It was so disgusting. Like, so disgusting. I'm pretty sure the thumbnail is what even brought you here in the first place. And you can see how disgusting it was. And it was, like, scattered all over my abdomen area. I mean, it was gross. Like, if that was, if, if I was my fiance, I wouldn't even touch me. I mean, he was hugging me and, like, touching me still. It's not contagious. They say it's not contagious. So, you know, like, he wasn't, like, scared to touch me. I think even if I was contagious, he wouldn't be scared to touch me. But, like, yeah, like, it was crazy. It was terrible. Um, it was the worst experience, one of the worst experiences of my life. Um, so they say that pedoriasis rosea could be uh, caused by stress, um, lack of sleep. Honestly, I'm... Around the time I got pitorized Rosia was when I was like so stressed out with so many different things. Um, I was like, you know, really on edge about a lot of stuff. I wasn't sleeping much. I was like all over the place. I wasn't getting a lot of sleep. I was so stressed out. So yeah, like I truly like a lot of people who talk about pitorized Rosia because it's a very touchy subject. People are very private about it. Um, you know, and I just feel like everyone was saying the same thing. Like, they were so stressed out. They were going through a lot around the time that, you know, they had pedorized Rosia. So, you know, it's about four, the Harrow patch is about four inches, 10 centimeters across. Um, and then it is most commonly occurred between the ages of 10 to 35. Usually it goes away on its own, but Pitoris rosea can can cause itching. Mine's itched a lot. Um, it's they say it's scaly, and I would too. Like the texture doesn't feel like it's your skin, and it's so weird that my skin is like back to normal because like it was really scaly. Like if you touched it, it didn't feel like the rest of your other skin. It was really weird. Um, yeah, so the exact cause of pitoriasis rosea is very unclear. Some evidence indicates a rash may be triggered by a viral infection, but it's not related to the herpes virus that causes cold sores. Pitoriasis rosea isn't believed to be contagious. Um, 
complications, severe itching on darker skin, lasting brown spots after the rash is healed. Um, and these are some of the things that I was very, you know, like it sounds awful. Like it does. And it looks awful. It really does. Like, and it was like, and, and the worst thing is don't get mad while you have pit rice first yet. Like it just makes you inflame. Like, Oh my gosh, I remember arguing with my fiance one day and I was like livid. I was like, oh my God, I'm so mad. And like my whole chest was like red and it spread. Like it spread everywhere. I think you guys can still see it, but look, this is like, it's so dry. It feels like my, I have eczema. Like this is one of the scars. It hasn't gone away yet. But like, I have eczema and it feels like eczema when it's healing and like going away on its own. Yeah, like it feels like eczema, it's really weird. So, I got it like in my neck, like it was so bad. And like, the worst thing is if you put like foundation on top, oh my God, it gets like 20 times worse. Like it looks so gross. Like I came downstairs, I put foundation on it and not alone, like I had on a white v, like white turtleneck and it got my whole turtleneck all dirty and it was so gross. And my fiance was like, why'd you put makeup on it? It looks worse. So it was like really bad. Um, yeah, like honestly, you, if you didn't get like a prior Herald patch before getting like a bunch of them, you don't have pit Like the Herald patch is like the key to knowing that you have pitarized for CM. Um, so yeah, like it'll honestly, it get, it's, I would say that it stays for about like six to seven weeks. Yeah. It starts showing and then it just doesn't go away. And you're just like sitting there losing your mind using like calamine lotion using anti-itching uh psoriasis creams i'm like using everything until i found the cream on amazon that was like all natural remedies and it was really nice like it would stop the itching it would it would not stop it completely but it would like burn and then it would stop it would like giving a burning sen uh, burning sensation and then it would stop. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so most likely if it's getting worse, I would suggest that you guys go to like your your physician care provider, um, get it looked at. Um, maybe it's not pitarized for Sia because yeah, you gotta give it about six to seven weeks and it disappears on its own. Um, and honestly, other than the embarrassment and everything I've shared with you guys and how people used to stare at me like I had some venereal disease. Um, I don't know what else to share with you guys. This is very personal for me. Um, like most of the things that I share with you guys, I hope that this helps you guys with your journey. Um, I hope that this helps you feel a little bit better. Um, I don't know if it'll make you feel better because it does get worse before it gets better, but at least you know that it does get better. Um, and it will disappear and you will go back to normal one day. Um, the day is not tomorrow and the day is not coming yet, but you must be patient and use the cream, um, and kind of take it easy on yourself. Sleep, drink more water, uh, take care of yourself. Um, oh, and take a break from exercising. Sometimes exercising can cause it too. It was around the time where I had started my exercising regimens and things like that too. So take a break from everything, relax, and take some time out for yourself and know that you have been neglecting yourself in some area for you to receive pitarized rosia. So, and then now um, I'm about two to three weeks clean. I said clean, like that's a drug. Um, clean, like off my body. And um, I'm back to the gym, working out and stuff like that. So, and a very important thing about pitarizis rosea is that if you get it, they say chances of you receiving it again later on is very uncommon. So that's also a really good thing to know too. Because if I was like, if this was something that you get back to back or every time it gets cold, um, no, this is not okay. And I need you to sh shoot some um, steroids or something. I mean, keep that away. 
Um, but yeah, so it says it's caused by in cold seasons. Um, I think it's wrapped around stress. You call it what you want. You diagnose yourself or get a doctor to diagnose you. I don't know. <coughs> but don't rely on me for everything. So, um, thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video and make sure you guys subscribe, guys. Mwah. Okay, guys. So, here it is. The mother of all creams made by the company Puraya. It's for advanced plant rich. rich formula combats itchy skin cracked skin skin redness and swelling instant and lasting itch relief reduces redness and swelling intensive moisturizer so this was bought on Amazon guys so I hope this video helps you guys